Oh, oh yeah. I don't know how true it is, but I watched an interview with like a like a soldier. I think he was part of the military and that, and he said the best place for them to recruit drone pilots is video gamers in there. Yeah, I've read about it. Me. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> the pioneering spirit behind it. At first, used only for surveillance missions, drones were quickly weaponized after the 9-11 attacks and have been extensively used by the US military in the war against terror as an offensive weapon platform. It's forecasted that over the next decades, the US is in line to purchase over 1,000 combat drones of various classifications. Some of them, like the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel and the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, are already in the final stages of development and, once finished, will provide the U.S. military with state-of-the-art platforms capable of multi-role operations, ranging from attack missions to aerial refueling. Drone technology has reached such heights today that a single UAV can loiter miles above the surface of the Earth for hours, waiting for the target to show its head and sticking with impunity. <laughs> this capability will allow all the services under the US military to reduce its dependency okay. on manned platforms. I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand times. There's nothing more badass than a pilot, a fighter jet pilot. Look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some big plums, bro. Their job is... And the speed there goes, it's just, they're insane. I, like, I've seen people thereby fight. reducing the risks yeah, because during of the future G4. combat operations. These five weapon systems make the US military extremely dangerous for any adversary looking to get into a conflict with them. 